It's now my pleasure to introduce our student speaker, Liam Hovey. Liam is a triple major in physics, chemistry, and biochemistry from Stillwater, Minnesota. Liam is a recipient of the University of Iowa National Scholars Award, the UI Tuition Scholarship, the Rod Dunlop Colleg Colleg Collegiate Scholar Award, the Donald J. Burton and Margaret A. Burton Scholarship for Chemistry Majors, the Department of Physics and Astronomy Undergraduate Scholar Award, and was named a 2014 Barry M. Goldwater Scholar. He is a licensed emergency medical technician and has volunteered at University of Iowa hospitals and clinics burn treatment center and worked in the respiratory specialty care unit. Liam has been an active member of Professor Madeline Shea's research lab in the Department of Biochemistry for several years. He received an Iowa Center for Research by Undergraduates Fellowship and a Dewey Sweet Award, Stewart Award to conduct research and present his work at four national conferences. Today, Liam graduates from the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences with distinction, university honors, and honors in biochemistry. Liam? Thank you, Dean Jalali. I would like to ask everyone, graduating seniors, family, and friends, to reflect for a moment on the person you were at 18. How much did you think you knew about the world? And in retrospect, how much did you actually know? When I stepped onto the Red Root Canvas for the first time, I had no idea what I wanted to do with my life. Like many of you, I started college with a quest to find out what I am good at and what impact I might have on society. I think one of the most obvious ways the University of Iowa has helped us figure these things out is by providing an incredible academic experience. I'll be honest, this part of our education through early morning lectures and constant homework assignments has seemed like a grind at times. But I think that all of the work has really reconfigured us intellectually. We have learned an unmeasurable quantity of information, from how to write and think systematically, to how to synthesize Tylenol, or even uh, measure the speed of light. I spent my first year here as an undecided major and took lots of classes across a variety of departments. I discovered during this buffet of courses a passion for mathematics and physics, which eventually led me to chemistry and finally towards biochemistry and biomedicine. Many of you have experienced similar intellectual journeys, but even those of you who didn't, the people who knew what they wanted to be when they grew up, had your skills sharpened and your horizons broadened during your time here. We have spent a copious amount of time on our schoolwork but when we closed our laptops and laid down our pens, our education didn't really stop. Because we surrounded ourselves with extracurricular experiences, working jobs, studying abroad, and athletic pursuits. During our time here, we have spent so many hours and so much energy tutoring or raising money for dance marathon or making lifelong friendships on the basketball court. These endeavors have opened our minds in ways that classroom learning simply cannot. About three years ago, for example, I started working in a lab, washing dishes as a work-study student. I gradually started doing experiments until I had my own independent research project. Through this extracurricular experience, I discovered and am now entering into a profession that I knew nothing about before coming to college. We have all gone through so much self-discovery during our time here. Freshman year, inspired by a new circle of friends from all over the world, I completely changed how I think about my impact on the environment. I vowed to exclusively use my bicycle for transportation. I also swore to completely ignore traffic laws, as is my right as an Iowa City bicyclist. <laughs> While I have taken a little longer to graduate, Many of the people I met as a freshman here in 2010 are already out doing things in the real world. My friend Jake, for example, who was a competitive powerlifter during his time at Iowa 
is now a state legislator in Des Moines. Tomas was in the ROTC while at Iowa and is now a professional writer in Chicago. Yang, who had practiced Rachmaninoff piano concertos in the dorms, is now a pharmaceutical researcher. I think professional and personal growth for these people and for all of us at the University of Iowa is particularly significant because we have had access to such a richness of culture in such a concentrated area. We have gotten to know our strengths and our vices, developed brand new skills, and discovered completely new communities without ever having to travel more than three or four blocks from the Pentecrest. In different manifestations, however, the growth we have experienced represents only one possible route to adulthood. Whether we pursued college right out of high school, or enlisted in the armed forces first, or went straight into the workforce, the period between our high school graduation and our mid-20s was defined in so many senses by transformation. This is a time when our minds are singularly malleable and receptive, and our hearts are still open to inspiration and idealism. Reflecting again on who we were as entering college students and who we have become during our years in Iowa City, I think it is safe to say that this institution of higher education has guided us sagely through our development into the well-prepared and well-rounded adults we are today. Whatever victories, opportunities, and challenges we may face henceforth, I trust that we will make each other and our alma mater very proud. Finally, thank you to everyone, our parents, mentors, and friends who have supported us along our journey. Thank you and go Hawks! <laughs>